Okay guys, here's a really quick video on how to properly secure the piston rack to the piston. This is a really important step pretty much for any build because if you don't have the rack properly secured to your piston, <clears throat> it can very easily uh, slip out and you know at the at the very least it'll cause your gears to seize and and cause your gun not to shoot anymore. Worst case scenario, and this happens quite a bit, is it can actually destroy your internals. So, very important step that um, I don't think gets talked about often enough. So, <clears throat> let me go ahead and show you guys the best way to do this. First of all, this is a brand new SHS piston. In order to get the rack out, it's super simple. You just push, and it'll just come right out. Okay. And number one thing you want to do is clean it. Uh, sometimes these will have some grease on them from the factory. So you want to make sure you get rid of that or else the glue that we're going to use is not going to hold the rack in place. Clean your rack as well. Okay. Now... I'm going to grab our glue. What do you guys use for this? Just your your regular Loctite. Okay, doesn't really matter which kind, but whichever is best for you. There's a liquid and the gel kind, they'll, they'll both work. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you start as long as you apply it evenly. I usually just kind of like to start at the bottom, get some down here, and then I'll put it all along the guides where the piston rack is going to lay. And up at the top as well. If you guys can see that. Okay. Then Grab our piston rack, make sure it's facing the right way. And we're going to slide it back in. Now, you may get some of the glue on your hands, that's okay. But, now you've got it glued in. Okay, try to get this to focus a little better. So now that you've got that glued in, we can move on to the next step. And that is to glue our piston head to the piston. And this is also an extremely important step because these can come undone and can cause catastrophic failure to the gearbox. So. Another thing to keep in mind. First thing we're going to do is we're going to install our piston, piston head, sorry, to our piston. That'll hold it in place. And then let's grab our Phillips screwdriver and you'll have different kinds of nuts. Some will be brass, some will be metal. Um, it doesn't really affect anything. Um, sometimes it's better for higher stress, higher speed builds to use plastic instead of metal um, because that'll keep your piston fairly light. And a lot of piston heads will come with the bearings. I actually suggest taking those out unless you're doing a super high FPS build. Um, so once you've got that through, and you want to do this after you've put your screw through the nut, because if you don't do that, you're gonna lose a lot of the glue. Um, if you put the if you put the glue onto the screw before you put it onto the nut, you're gonna you're gonna lose a lot of glue while you're reinserting it. So pass it through first, and then put some glue on the screw. You don't need a ton, just a little bit. Okay, grab your Phillips head screwdriver, 
It's always good to have a magnetic one for this because it'll hold everything in place. And then put it through and then just screw it in like you would normally. And remember, you don't need a ton of torque. Just once it starts to tighten up, that's perfect. Nothing more than that. You don't want to overdo it. The Loctite's going to hold the screw in place. Um, if you ever do have to take this apart, overdoing it's going to make it really hard. Um, plus, you've already got that glue in there, so you're good to go. So this piston, um, obviously, I'm going to wait. Probably, you know, it's probably best to wait a day, but you could get away with waiting a few hours and then installing it, um, especially if you're not going to be dry firing the gun. But this piston is good to go. Um, this is how you want to do this. Doesn't matter what kind of build, you always want to glue your racks in. Even with the pistons that only have that first tooth that's metal, you can actually take that out. Um, let me kind of show you here what I'm talking about. So, for example, on a piston like this, only has one rack, but you can take this out as well and glue it in. Um, and you should really always try to do this even with stock guns. Okay, it's not just a um, aftermarket uh, upgrade. So there you have it guys, this piston's ready to go. Um, obviously give it a few hours before you install it, but uh, excellent step to uh, just make your builds and your, and, and your guns a lot more reliable in the long term.